quarterfinal of the uh, Toronto 2018 Destiny Regional. My name is Victor, and joining me, we've got a very special guest. We've got community leader, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Hey, everybody. So, uh, Jenna's here because she's going to tell you exactly uh, <laughs> what's going on. Hopefully, what, yeah. What both these decks are doing. So, uh, we've got... <laughs> John Chen, who I believe is the, uh, actually he's the reigning Canadian national champion. He is, yeah. He won um, our last Canadian championship and he was playing um, FN, oh goodness, I'm trying to remember It was now. like that, it, that was right before the release of the uh, Empire at War and, set too. Yeah, and so the So it was Arata. like basically a dead format by the time. It was, you know. yeah. Almost everybody was playing FN at the time, so it's hard for me to remember. I, I, it was some FN combination for sure. Um, and we have another FN here. He hasn't died yet. So we have FN Seven Sister and FN Boba Fett. So uh, if if I recall, uh, I think the Boba Fett Seven Sister deck it won a regional recently, right? It did. Um, I believe a couple weeks ago. It wasn't or last week sometime. It was uh, pretty recently. It's a really strong deck. Um, so you would say it's like a very aggressive deck because it is. Yeah. High damage. Um, I haven't seen uh, Seven Sister FN played, um, though I've, I've heard a few people talking about it. So uh, just different access to different colored cards, right? You're playing right. red and blue versus red and yellow. Yeah, and you can see the, the, the deck list on either side of the screen uh, with stuff like... Uh, it, so from what I understand, the Boba Fett Seven Sister deck is a lot more removal heavy. Yes, right. well, with yellow, um, yeah. with yellow villains for sure. There's not a whole lot for removal for uh, blue and red villains, unfortunately. So, tend to have less than that. But it's more aggro with the red uh, weapons being played on FN. So it looks like John ended up <laughs> taking the initiative, and he ends up with I think that's Ewok. Ewok village, yeah, that's his battlefield. So he's going to end up going first. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, tell us about the difference between FN, I think it got errated, uh, since... Yeah, the well, so FN, right? um, so essentially, because of the replacement effect being errated to one replacement, um, per character per turn, um, in effect, he was, he was nerfed in a way that you can't now, you know, throw down a rocket launcher, resolve that, uh, or, you know, another weapon with ambush and then continuously do it over and over again. So now he's limited to the one per turn, like everybody else. So right. he technically did not get an errata on his effect, but the errata to the replacement effect happened. So John ends up playing a friends in low places, so allows him to take a, an event that costs one or less and chooses the Enrage, and he also uh, sees that he doesn't actually have any removal, so he's just free to roll out his dice and modify them however he wants. Um, lots of weapons, though, on, on FN's side. However, he can't Enrage into that lightsaber right away, so right. I think the only option for him, I think he had an Ancient lightsaber, yeah. So that was actually a really good tempo play to take that Enrage to deny him that turn one uh, three-drop um, weapon. weapon. And now the over the overwrite rules have changed too, right? You can over only overwrite once. Right, that's turn. what I'm saying. So in yeah. in essence, FN did not get an errata for his effect. Uh, it was really the overwrite rule that right. that damaged his playability because his dice aren't that great. But when you can really override, you know, rocket launcher on top of rocket launcher on top of Z baton, um, you're getting those um, unmitigable uh, dice that they're, they're just resolving right away. Not a great rule. It's got a lot of resources blanks. <clears throat> so who's the, uh, for John, who do you think his first target's going to be? Is the Seven Sister or the FN more dangerous? Um, I think Seven Sister is um, always the target. And you can kind of see how he's placed his two shields on her to start, too. Because once she gets loaded up, and right. um, it, it, it's she's so deadly. So John just played a close quarters assault, which I think is actually really good against an FN deck, right? If their hands stacked the weapons, you just Absolutely. eliminate a lot of their offensive <clears throat> power. And he got um, a lightsaber. I didn't see what the other card was. Now, it's funny because I remember when I was playing during the Awakenings meta, Close Quarters Assault was like a cute card, but it wasn't really, never really saw a serious competitive play, but now I see it everywhere. Well, because we've gotten so many blue melee weapons now, uh, you have, you know, heirloom lightsabers, Obi-Wan sabers, um, ancient lightsabers, they're just everywhere. And then obviously the addition of some blue melee characters as well. Um, you just have so much melee um, damage showing that it's a fantastic card. Speaking of ancient lightsabers, John plays his own on Boba Fett. 
and it looks like Daniel decides to start working on uh, John's seventh sister. Yeah. <clears throat> so now he's going to roll out Baba. Of course, Baba's ability, um, very good for uh, eking some damage out of those times when you just roll modifiers and nothing else. That's right. <clears throat> I miss, uh, well, um, can we see the, the deck list again? I'm trying to see what's... Um... Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Uh, he only has a one drop uh, Maul lightsaber, but um, Boba Fett, when you get that modified plus four damage, right, on the then lightsaber. you're dealing eight damage with your two Boba dice and then also getting to resolve it then with your um, seventh sister. So, yeah, he's a fantastic pairing um, for those really high modified sides. And the Vibro Cutlass, too, uh, has a four, four damage side It does, as well, yeah. Right? I mean, realistically, any of these cards, even if there's a pay side, I mean, you're just dealing damage based on the, the amount showing. So if you don't have money uh, or if you only have a modifier, you can still get that damage. Oh, he's going after FM. <clears throat> So he got rid of the shields there on FN? He did. He uh, right. resolved two damage into him. Okay. Yeah, so Daniel plays Force Illusion onto his FN uh, just to uh, keep him alive a little bit longer because he doesn't have any redeploy weapons on him yet. Uh, getting rid of that lightsaber was actually a big coup for John because of that. So now I think he's just, I guess Daniel has, he has no cards left in his hand, I don't think. It doesn't look like it, no. no. Because uh, he used the course close quarter assault on the... He had three left remaining, and then uh, he just played his last card. So I can't, I can't tell if John's deciding what to do or Daniel's deciding whether he wants to claim now or not. But it looks like Dan... Uh, sorry, John goes ahead and takes one resource. That's going to let Daniel claim. And that claim ability really has no effect right now because uh, none of the characters have any shields on right. John's side. So really, he's he just he has nothing left to do. He's showing two blanks, no cards in hand. He might as well claim and have initiative next turn. Yeah, but that leaves John free to do whatever he wants. That's right. Disrupt again, like uh, like we mentioned earlier, keeping uh, the FN deck off three resources is really good. That's right. Because it stops him from playing the batons, the lightsabers. Oh, and he vandalized the nice. uh, ancient lightsaber, so he's even far further behind. He's got no yeah. weapons now. Um, that was a great play because he he know he he knows he discarded at least one weapon, and then uh, now FN cannot get that uh, replacement right. effect going. Yeah, vandalize is a is a card that you usually see uh, played against things like running interference and force speed. Um, people will use it because you're paying one to effectively remove none of your dice. Right. So um, it's a really nice um, ability to get those disc uh, to, to throw those upgrades into the discard. Um, I mean, even one for a force illusion just before you're about to do a bunch of damage. It's a really nice play, but to stop that replacement effect from happening, I think, on FN is the, the good play. Yeah, with that, with removing that lightsaber, it's a huge tempo swing for John too, because now he has the dice advantage. He's got uh, he's got an dice. ancient lightsaber and he's got a Boba <laughs> Fett. None of his guys has ta have taken any damage yet. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't roll very well no. <laughs> for his Boba Fett, but that special, you know, that it is threatening because uh, if Daniel rolls out anything and he gets like anything that's two or better, right? It's just going to be good for him. Mm -hmm. So now Daniel rolls out a Viber Knife, and um, Jen, as you know, like the Viber Knife has also changed. I'm sure all yes. this stuff is is old news to our to our viewers. Yeah, yeah, the Viber Knife uh, errata was uh, really helpful, especially considering this new release and the amount uh, or sheer amount of melee weapons that we did get. Um, I mean, there was just no way to protect yourself against the the damage. The rolls haven't been very uh, no, spectacular this game. Eh? No, they're they're pretty lackluster. Yeah, what? So sh oh, shuttle lights are nice. So this is a uh, this is a weapon that I think uh, was a huge boon to those Qui Gon decks. 
It is. If you get two on them, then uh, you're gaining two shields, but because of Qui-Gon's ability, you're able to ping for damage each time you're gaining those shields. So an activation will give two damage right. every activation, um, which is, is huge. Because, again, it's, it's something that you cannot prevent. And, I, and I've noticed a lot of... Uh, boba. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed a lot of, uh, a lot of effects lately that have really made uh, keeping shields on a character extremely difficult. I mean, we see the Ewok village here. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially with, uh, the Shoto lightsaber. Maul, I think, has an ability that does something. Or maybe I'm just thinking about Intimidate. I know it gets rid of shields. It does. Her. Yeah, shield removal is really important to, um, especially, like you said, playing against a Qui-Gon deck. Not a great reroll. And this is uh, this is one of the downsides of super aggressive decks. Like, you know, especially well, I don't want to say super aggressive decks, but you, uh, we were we were uh, casting some games with uh, the Thrawn Talzin right, control yeah. deck, mm -hmm. and you know, any deck with Yoda in it, just focus everywhere, dice manipulation everywhere. Well, and that's right. really what the new hotness is, right? Yeah. You're you're if you can find a way to circumvent the basic mechanics of the game. Um, then you're ahead because if your other opponent needs to roll to get their damage and you're just able to, um, you know, meddle with the dice pretty easily and then uh, and, and get it on the best side every time, then you're, you're way far ahead. Yeah, it seems right. Like this, this matchup that we're seeing right now is uh, <laughs> as, as fair as competitive decks can be. It's like two fairly fair decks. Like not a lot of action cheating, not a lot of uh, no. super dice manipulation. Well, and I think too, as um, I was saying earlier, with you know vandalizing that um, that weapon, you know he's not able to play a card and then also replace the right. weapon with another one to get that effect on uh, FN twice in a turn. And I think that's what allowed that's what's allowed John to stay ahead right now. Oh, even though, those rerolls. Yeah, even though there hasn't been a lot of damage trade. Although as I say that. Uh, Seven Sister now has three damage on her. Uh, but, yeah, like, uh, the ability to just take your time now. Uh, Daniel has to be careful going forward. Even when he ends up playing a big weapon like a baton, he just has to be careful about Bob mm -hmm. Fett's ability because one of the cards in John's deck is bait and switch as well. Right. So, uh, you know, you, you can end up with a lot of damage out of nowhere. So he's going to... I think this looks like a discard to reroll. Yeah, which is a good call. I mean, he had two blanks. He <clears throat> or did he play a card to do it? I am your father. No, I think he just discarded oh, okay. to there. Oh, John. Wow. It's all money and a blank and a disrupt. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> yeah, v vandalizing the upgrade was good, but like he's not he's not finding a way to uh, turn that tempo into any sort of pressure. Unfortunately, it's going to allow Daniel to recover uh, a bit. And <clears throat> even even uh, even besides that, like looking at Boba Fett special, like I don't see any upgrade or character dice on John's side right now that can deal more than two damage with Boba special. Uh, the Ancient has a plus three. Ah, yeah. yes, thank you. <clears throat> That's marginally better. I mean... Uh, here's a rocket launcher. Right. Uh, and he does have the money to resolve this right away if he can. Three. So you think this is the right call, taking out the, the Seven Sister first? I, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. When he got another. Nice. Yeah, hand disruption is so important in an FN match. I feel because you're you're not you're not simply taking away um, you're not protecting your dice. I mean, playing against any deck that's going to discard yeah. your hand is going to feel bad because, oh no. Um, <laughs> I mean, at, at the core of it, it is a dice and card game. So if right. you have no cards to play, no way to prevent yourself from taking damage um, or no way to re-roll when you do have bad rolls, um, I mean, you're just, 
you're stalled. Unless you have a pow powerful character, uh, or they have really powerful character dice. You know, Sabine is one of those characters that can really do um, a lot of damage with just right. her dice. So you were talking about the Ancient Lightsabers plus three side. That, and he just, just did that. and switched it into the three. Right. So he could use Baba's ability. And now that that's like a huge amount of damage. Two, four, six, wow. eight, ten damage. So... So forces the mill on the force solution. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he got another Z-Baton. And it looks like good. he, I think he split up his damage, or he did it separately? Um, well, you, uh, you, yeah, you have two right. separate instances. So for force illusion on the other side, yep. every die is resolved one at a time. And so um, he can choose how many he wants to mill from each. So um, I think they were four uh, right. in either half, so it didn't really matter which one he chose. It just seemed like the way he split it up that he was doing it at two separate characters. But oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. It, you're right. He did. He was putting it both on it. That's right. Yeah. I think it was just to show. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these rolls have not been great. It's a lot of discard to reroll to get to anything. You know, but in the, a way, though, that, that makes this game a lot more interesting than some of the, like, so uh, by comparison, a lot of the matches we saw in Switch, Swiss uh, were very short, brutal affairs. I think none of them went to time. Uh, a lot of them were just sort of simply over in the first 10 minutes or so because mm -hmm. of the consistency Absolutely. of the uh, focus and dice manipulation. Yeah. Uh, this one here is interesting because, you know, when you roll a lot of blanks and you're running low on cards, you just really have to start thinking about, well, is this card worth to me more in my hand, like to set up something next turn versus uh, just discarding to try to get as much damage in this turn? Right. Well, and, and that's sort of the thing that I love about the meta currently. So he discards reroll, he got uh, so four or five damage showing on FN. Um, yeah, is that um, short of, you know, probably Sabine decks. Um, there's not a whole lot of bursty meta decks that are happening right now. Um, I mean, there are some, you know, one turn kill decks, um, and they do happen, but the um, the general uh, field right now is really a lot of back and forth, which is getting back to how we played at the start. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you've been watching, and I mean, even here today, there's so many variations in decks um, that we've seen, so it's a really interesting meta to be in right now. Yeah, it's a far cry <laughs> from the, the sort of the pull Maz meta I was used to. And FN everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, last year at Nationals, uh, speaking of John, National Champion, you mentioned it was, I think it was FN, Bala, and uh, a Stormtrooper, and that was like the entire top four, yes. top eight. It was yeah. nothing but mirror matches. Absolutely. So heirloom, heirloom lightsaber going down, that's going to redeploy. redeploy. So that's why he would have replaced it, because yeah. when it's on a blue character, it does redeploy. So he'll be set up nicely, especially if he rolls any of those three damage sides. <clears throat> or there's only one three damage sides, but he has a three damage side on the ancient as well. So nice, uh, sorry, seven sister has three, three health left on it? Pardon me? Seven sister has three health left on it? She does. So we see a two focus, two melee, one resource. That's a decent roll. He yeah. can focus into five damage. Yeah, he actually. I think he actually has the three damage to kill off the seven sister now, between FN and the seven sister die. Yeah. Yeah. So he's I mean, take it now. Yeah. I mean, the the roll in is just really instead of passing to kill time because it it it, it right. forces the damage to go on that character so it can redeploy. So funnily enough, like five minutes ago, I would have said John was winning this game after the vandalized play, but. Uh, FN still has half his health left, and Night Sister or Seven Sister is untouched. And uh, again, this comes back to sort of um, something that I've felt pretty strongly about. Um, I think Force Illusion is way too overpowered for its effect. Um, the you fact know, that you can play it on any character too, right? It's right. There's no limitation for blue only, um, and. And the reality is that any card that you look at in comparison that can potentially heal, you know, well not heal, but prevent that amount of damage, you're looking at a minimum of a three drop up to five drop cards. This one is one. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, the, the, the payment is, of course, you're discarding your deck, but in certain decks, you know, like me with playing Sabine today, um, it doesn't hurt as much because if you are discarding those weapons, I can still use them. Right. Um, and if your your character's all already loaded up with weapons, then again, it doesn't matter kind of what you discard. So, 
Now that being said, John actually finally managed to get a really good roll. I think that's actually enough to kill the FN. Five damage? Yeah. No, yeah, but it, he has to... He do has it in to do two it. turns. Yeah. But he's going to heal on this turn. Yeah. Oh, with the lightsaber. With the right. lightsaber. Very smart play. Yes. So it does keep him alive. Oh, he's pitching a mall saber. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he has the money or the time to do it. And now Daniel, I think... Yeah, take a dollar and now you just claim to prevent the shields coming sorry, to prevent the shields coming off uh, his seventh sister. The downside to that is there's a lot of weapons in his discard pile, so that seventh sister is going to be playing naked. Right. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that resource. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, uh, another thing. Oh, overriding with another rocket launcher. Nice, two damage. So yeah, I, I mean, we were talking at the beginning of this game, the Boba Fett Seventh Sister deck is heavy on removal, like yellow, most yellow decks Did he are. not resolve it? No? I guess not. Hmm. Oh, maybe he's wanted to focus it to a four damage side, perhaps? Oh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, because yeah, two, obviously four is better than that. Yeah. And if he's discarding, yeah, he's last card. Oh my, four <laughs> times in a row. Oh which, my which, goodness. Is that the heirloom -like That's the heirloom. It only has one resource oh, side man. and three damage sides. I can't believe that. Well, I mean, the good news is that this is the best two out of three. So John's going to have a chance to redeem himself in the next game. Like you said, it's just crazy because at first, because of the tempo and having gotten rid of all of those weapons, I thought that John would have been far ahead, but he is just not having any luck with his rerolls. He rolled it in and he pitched to re-roll three times. So it landed on the resource side four times. So John does have the battlefield, which means he's going to be able to activate his, uh, his character first. Uh, Daniel always has the option of overwriting something to uh, just get a free roll out and resolve it before his FN can die. Because I think his FN's on two health now. Mm -hmm. Maybe play a baton, perhaps, if he's drawn one. That's a good that's roll. A good, that's a decent roll, yeah. Doubt. That's risky. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it wasn't enough to kill because he didn't <clears throat> have a... No, but nice. he can do it now because it's his yeah. turn again. Yeah, yeah, that was risky, but it was lethal showing. He had no choice. <clears throat> so what do you? He think? does actually have quite a few weapons. Yeah. What do you think Daniel's chances are now with just a seven sister against Bubba? Uh, quite good because he's got four damage on him, right. and he's effectively rolling four dice. So I think that um, I think that his chances are pretty good. I, and there are no pay sides either on anything that he's pl p playing. Right. So. I do see, oh, well, I mean, John has an ancient lightsaber on Bubba. I see another ancient lightsaber in his hand. So oh, he can, does he? He yeah, can heal four. Yeah, potentially four damage. And I think I see some removal, too. Nope. I guess not. He <laughs> uh, hit the yeah. resource <laughs> again. Oh, my goodness. I think, I think John should check that die. Maybe it's I think he should. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Wow. That's a nice roll. All short of the one sister. So four, four, he needs seven damage <clears> to kill. <throat> He's got five five showing, so. I mean, he has the potential if he hit the two on the sister, but that's, I mean, I would take that. Because right. realistically, I mean, he could do six damage to her, mm -hmm. but five on Boba Fett and then six on him. He's still ahead. So he actually found a use for that uh, resource side on the on the lightsaber. He uses he doesn't like you to mm. remove the die. That still leaves four damage on the table onto Bob Fett. And uh, Seven Sister finally taking her first damage for the game. Yeah. <clears throat> Crafted lightsaber. That's the one you can only play on an exhausted character. Right? Correct, yeah. It's got really good die sides, though. 
um, and for a two cost, it's it's pretty good. So, what do you think? In John's position, do you think you should uh, you should pop off the lightsabers now? Yeah. Just so that you don't get uh, blindsided by a, a really lucky roll by uh, Daniel on the following turn. That's right. Yeah. And you never really know what people have up their sleeves, right? right? There is a die sitting out there, so it has the potential to still do a lot of damage. Or, you know, well, at the time, lethal damage. But definitely the ancient lightsaber for a two cost is far superior than the crafted. Right. Actually, Daniel doesn't really have many cards left in his deck. I think he's three left, it looks like. Uh, the other thing is actually the crafted lightsaber. He's, he's got to be careful about that plus three uh, modifier side, especially with the Boba Fett's ability. Absolutely. Yeah, spe speaking of good rolls, I mean, that one was... That's nice. Right, it's a, it's a good thing actually John ended up using that crafted lightsaber. Uh, sorry, the uh, ancient, ancient lightsaber, lightsaber. The last turn. I think he has five showing. So not quite enough to kill Boba Fett, uh, even without the lightsaber heal. So he will use Feel Your Anger to remove one of those damage sides. Right, and he has no money right now, so he only has one um, damage showing. Oh, can't use that legit. Well, no. you can use it to re-roll. <laughs> but I think he was trying to take two bucks off it. Yeah, both Logistics and Enrage in Daniel's deck reminds me a lot of the old FN uh, Dooku deck. Absolutely. From, uh, from the old day, of course. Uh, Duke has since been replaced by the sister. And with that saber too, I mean, there's two resource sides on that. He's got tons of potential for, uh, I mean, obviously if he had his red character still, to utilize that card, but um, FN has resource sides. Basically all the sabers do. This has actually been a really interesting game. Like, there were so many times where I thought one player had the dominating advantage, but... Uh, things quickly reversed. You know, so I, it's just one roll. Yeah, ten minutes ago, I would have said that Daniel was uh, was slated to win. Well, and he got a special. Look at this again. What the? <laughs> he needs to check that die. I I, I would think, not. I think someone put a magnet under the table, and it's there's just been. Uh, That's un unbelievable. It's I mean. It's possible, of course, you're rolling dice, but that blows my mind. But he does have the plus three on Boba Fett, and uh, so right. using his uh, Boba Fett special, he can do three damage. Um, now, Boba Fett has a melee side too, right? He does. Oh, nice. Going for the, the doubt, doubt roll here. It's a good call. Oh, no. He can still get two damage off of uh, Dan's dice anyways. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to yeah, do the two damage before he's able to use that lightsaber die. And yeah, John, uh, well, like I kept saying, I mean, that, that um, heirloom hasn't rolled anything but resources. It's, right. it's yeah. And the rest of his dice. Actually, funny enough, the last time he played at um, at Can Nats, he was rolling so badly as well um, on some of his last games. It was, uh, and then I think sort of in the last play, he re-rolled and got basically a god roll and then pulled it off. So let me ask you, as an aside, do you think the way you roll dice has any effect on on uh, how how things roll out? Like some um, people do the double hand roll, some people do like a single throw it across the table roll. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think so. I mean, obviously there are people that can manipulate dice in ways and have probably learned how to roll dice in a certain right. way. I think these dice are so large that it's kind of hard to manipulate them in the way that you want. Right. Um, I did, however, have an interesting situation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I oh think, my god. I think we're jinxing it by 
by talking about the lightsaber so much. Wow. I cannot believe that keeps hitting resources. I think what John needs to do, he needs to... He, he needs, needs to switch to, it out. He needs to fish for bait and switch. Of course, it's... There! Like <laughs> finally! Oh, my God. Oh, oh shit, and he wow. got rid of it? Yeah. It's so funny. He's going to re-roll it. Of course. So oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say the S word on... That's all right. Mature everyone's, content. Everyone's grown-ups here. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for him. Yeah, despite all that, I mean, it's been pretty close. Like, he's actually managed to uh, even up the damage race here. Doesn't that remove the die? Did he call melee? He didn't motive. He didn't, he didn't roll a melee, he rolled a punch. Yeah. No, but uh, hidden motive, mm -hmm. you call a symbol. What what symbol did he call? I didn't hear it. He probably called melee, so if he rolled yeah. melee again, they would come out. Oh, he called melee. Yeah, yeah. okay. Makes sense, right? You don't of course, there's three melee sides. Yeah, yeah. I would have called resources based <laughs> on what he's been rolling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got one card left. Oh, Jenny, your favorite song's on, by the way. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to rap because I'm terrible yeah. at it. <laughs> Uh, that's a disrupt. Yeah, disrupt. It's a lot melee, of melee. Lots of melee. Melee, 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 don't discard, any, disrupt. Any, don't know if I see any straight up removal in John's hand though. Four damage. Uh, I mean, it's one short of killing him. Yeah. He does have the ancient though, so he can heal, which I think he's gonna have to. Try for the kill first. That's a good call. See, I'm a huge proponent of No Mercy. Right. And um, when I see that sitting across there, I mean, not a lot of people play it, but that would scare me. Oh, would you play No Mercy, though, in a two-color deck? Um, probably, well, I, it depends on your deck build. I mean, if it's mostly, if it's sort of half and half, probably not. Right. Um, I've played uh, two-color decks where it's still majority blue. But I think he has a fair amount of red in his deck, especially the red weapons. So what does he have? Two, three, four, essentially six showing. So that's enough to kill her <clears throat> in two turns. He would right. have to use the special so I, I and then... And then Boba Fett looks like... It's a two melee. No, but Boba Fett has, has six damage on him too, right? He does, but um, he's 11 health versus 10, so there's not lethal showing on Dan's side. He only has four oh, melee okay. so, showing. You know, I was telling Travis earlier, the the X on the droid die looks very similar to a two. Oh, so yeah. I just thought, like, I, like where's the, what's the deal here? Why doesn't he just kill off Baba? Right, Alex? I told you, look, it hit resources again. That die yeah, is is yeah. awful. Yeah, that was... Yeah, so that's it. He lost, yeah, Man. first one. That, I mean, there was a lot of back. <clears throat> that's actually... Uh, Jenny, it was a really nice game. You were saying earlier, you know, like... Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> well, however, um, I guess, yeah, and the Viber Knife is the only, it's like, only the Viber Knife is the unblockable damage. That's right. right. Yeah. And um, none of them have, a mo well, I mean, the, the um, Ancient does have a modified side. Right. So. So he's going to absorb the two. Oh, and then he only has like one card. One to else. mill. Eight. That's he right. He only has one card to mill, right. so he does the one first and then, yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, because, uh, is it because uh, Force Illusion, if you can't mill exactly the That's number right. Cards? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I, didn't, I never thought something like that would be relevant. That's crazy. Yeah. But I mean, John, he could have done the one first, let him mill, three damage was fatal for seven system. Exactly. Yep. So either way. It would have been done, yeah. He just didn't have enough cards in his deck. I've also noticed that there's been uh, a heavy skew towards uh, two-character decks now. At least the top decks seem to be two-character decks. I mean, I know there's three-character uh, vehicle and mill decks, yeah. but I don't know. Well, uh, again, the reason for that is because we're not seeing those huge one-turn kill bursty decks, right? right? So if you were playing a two-deck uh, or character deck before, yeah. your health was so much less, well, not necessarily so much less, but much less than playing a three-character deck for the most part. So um, 
you know, they would they would roll out their first turn and kill one of your characters, which is very hard to do now. So I think that that's why we're going back to the two character decks. Um, you think Sabine and Thermal Detonator has a lot to do with that as well? Um, I think I think less. Sabine and Thermal Detonator, because um, in in a Sabine deck, you'll very rarely see Thermal Detonators. Oh, that's interesting. I yeah. would have thought. No. I would have thought they would have been everywhere. In no. Every deck. No, no. So John starts off with a Friends in Low Places, removing uh, Daniel's Logistics. So very similar to the opening that John had in Game 1, getting rid of an economy card from Daniel's deck. Yeah. And Two disrupts. Yeah. Responds with an economy just, uh, disruption of his own. Play a weapon out before he loses the money. So John's going to roll out Baba first. Uh... Looks like a two melee and a one resource side for John. And do you think John's strategy is going to be the same as last? Uh, just take out FN as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, I mean, I for me when I'm playing a game though, um, I I doubt that he's going to change. Daniel's going to change the way he plays. I mean, that's the way that deck works. Is he's going to put weapons on FN? But if he notices, or if I was you know him playing and I noticed that. John was going after him, I might just load up my seventh sister with melee weapons. I know that, Jan, uh, that John has a vibro in his hand, but I don't think that... Um, I didn't see if Daniel had any weapons in his hand. I would have imagined he would have really played them. Yeah, I would, have, I would imagine you'd play them before you rolled out FN, just to get that extra value. Mm -hmm. So Viber Knife on to Seventh Sister. Is he uh, not going to use his ambush action? I think he's thinking about whether to roll out and maybe uh, play an event from his hand. Mm. Or maybe <coughs> take a dollar. Well, I don't think he's going to take a dollar because of the disrupt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John's just making money over there. My goodness. He does have that focus, which is nice, so he has the potential of five damage showing. I wonder if uh, taking that logistics really hurt Daniel's first turn again. Well, it's ramp, right? Yeah. I mean, if you don't have, if, if you can't get that extra money. It just slows you down that much more. It takes a shield. So that's actually uh, interesting considering that Ewok Village is the battlefield. Maybe he's planning on claiming, claiming first. A lot first. less dice showing, yeah. yeah. He probably has a Maul Saber or something, a three drop in his hand that he can't play. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, I didn't even see the resource side on that. But yeah, of course, it's the melee side. Yeah, I think Daniel is just going to leave those two disrupt up and then keep passing until John either rerolls his resource die, takes it, then he's going to try to claim the battlefield. I think you have to. He, I mean, he has the potential to do six more damage. Yeah. So it looks like he's going to discard a reroll. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. I don't know. Yeah, so you don't Because no. now, now, yeah, you got a shield and you got a resource. Or no, it was another disrupt. So it's not as bad, but mm -hmm. like I really like the the threat of leading, leaving that disrupt up. Mm -hmm. Because now John can just take a bunch of money, claim the battlefield, maybe remove and then remove the shields from the seventh sister. Yeah. I mean, likely if he took resources, then right. Daniel would just claim there's nothing to do there. Two, yeah, two melee, two resources. That's a nice... Because then you'll go into the next turn with four resources. That's another two weapons. So doubt getting played on John's die. Usually I find, like, doubt is a very... Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, Doubt is obviously a double-edged sword. It's yeah. very, it's like one of those removal cards that can be extremely good. I remember a long time ago hearing the Knights of Ren talk about it. Um, but you have to be extremely choosy as to which dice you, you decide to resolve it on. Like, I'm not sure if resolving it super early on a Boba Fett 2 melee die is oh, it was John's really turn. right call. Yeah. I hate when they do that. What, what did they do? When you play Doubt, you're forcing your opponent right. to resolve the die, and he took essentially Daniel just took two turns in a row. Right. And then John would have claimed. Yep. So that did they? Do you know if they rectified that problem? They didn't or? rectify it. Do you stop it? Yeah. Change the flow of the game that much? It would because John would have claimed. Hold on a second here. So we just have everyone going to the table to try to uh, resolve the issue. It's probably just a matter of John getting the battle. Like he just went ahead. Yeah. Anyway, that's fine. All right, it's all good. So they they talked it out. They said, oh, well, I would have. It might not have changed. Yeah, anything. John would have taken the money anyway, and Daniel would have claimed. So yeah, it all worked okay. out in the end. Right, because he wanted to play them all saber. That's fine then. Yeah. So what happened? Um, you guys were probably watching. Whenever you play doubt. Um, and your opponent re-rolls the die and resolves the die, they aren't doing a die resolve action. So that's still your opponent's action. So what happened was he played Doubt, they resolved the two uh, Boba Fett melee damage side, and then Dan played again. It, it's one of those cards that feels like it should be your turn again because your opponent resolves a die against you, but it wasn't their action. Um, they ended up talking about it, and it really wouldn't have changed the flow of the game. He still would have claimed and grabbed two resources, but uh, we just wanted to clarify that. So John uh, ended the, the previous turn with a Maul's lightsaber on the Seventh Sister. So that's going to be uh, really good with the Boba Fett special, like you said. Huge. And if he can get rid of those shields, he can roll it back in, too. And with the Seven Sister and all the melee sides, it's amazing. So Daniel seemed to found his stride now, uh, finding a bunch of weapons to, uh, to put on FN. <clears throat> and the thing about that Maul Saber die, too, is that you're then forced into splitting your damage among characters to try and get rid of those um, shields to use that ability. Also, did you notice another lightsaber, another resource side? <laughs> oh my god. Poor guy. Oh my gosh. And Maul Saber has four damage sides too. And he hits the one ma or the one resource. So when when uh FN starts getting redeploy weapons put on him, do you have to do you think you switch targets at that point or do you still is it is it still uh, once you start doing damage you wanna focus that thing down, you don't wanna split your attention? Um I think it it probably really depends on what the weapons are. Um, regardless, with your seven sister out and and the lightsaber, she's still going to be able to utilize that melee side. Whereas, um, you know, FN only has that one melee side, so it might be in your best interest to get rid of seven sister. Right. No money showing, but he does have a resource side on FN. And that's a three damage for one resource side, right? On three the for lightsaber. One. Yeah, and he does have a focus on his droid. So potential for yeah this is but see, yeah this is john's opportunity to wow oh, nice. see, exactly to roll out and that he can't get huge. rid of that die either i would almost pitch to reroll pitch to re <laughs> honestly well that's or, insane or focus it to something else because he's going to take six right. damage you focus it to the special to side the special yeah. side 
Man, that's crazy. Let's see if. Yeah, maybe, good maybe Daniel. We're too loud. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they heard me or not. But <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I, I still, away. I still feel like that's the right thing to do. In yeah. Any case, yeah. Then it's it's useless. So now he he has to see if he can get a better sight on his mall lightsaber. He did get a two. The four yeah. would have been really nice with Boba, but that's still. So Boba Fett's gonna do six damage. Oh, yep. and melee. That oh. card is. So he it was melee? made for mall saber removal. Right. Look at this, and he rolls a resource again. Isn't that kind of anti-flavor if a card mall with is mall on, on it? Yeah. It's perfect for removing his die. I know. <laughs> But he kept it. He rolled resources of all. Oh my goodness. That's just unbelievable. I think I think you just resolved the special sides on Baba now, right? Or no, sorry. There's only one. Sorry, yeah, right. there's only one yeah. damage. So I would try and get the the bigger. Like if you got yeah. a three or four on the mole saber, oh, that would be beautiful. Man, that would be eight damage, right? Yep. If you rolled the four. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're gonna resolve the. Oh, oh what did he get? It? Three. Oh, it's like a three. Okay. Two. It's hard Two. to tell. Two, yeah. I think. Oh, he doubted it. Nice. Well, actually, doubt's good on a mole saber because it's, it's, it's a, a bunch of modifiers, saber. right? Yeah. yeah. That's this is one of those times where you use it. Oh, and he got the damage side. That's good though. I feel like every time Daniel's played doubt, it's back fired on him. It has. Like, I don't think he's ever actually removed a, de uh, a die with uh, it. He did re-roll into a blank once. Uh, I remember that, but that was the only time. Yeah, most okay. of the time it's been... But now, hopefully, they remember that it's John Chan's turn still. Still, I mean, that was the correct thing to do, because now you've removed a potential 8 damage, eight damage. off the Boba Fett's Absolutely. ability. Absolutely. Oh, John, don't play that heirloom lightsaber. You know what happens. <laughs> yeah, right? He's just going to pee free <laughs> is, it, is it an heirloom lightsaber because you can sell it for lots of money? Um, well, I don't know. Aren't heirlooms, like, valuable? Heirlooms you get are. Lots of money. Yeah, I mean, they're passed down. I guess it's sentimental I value. Is, yeah. like, I don't think you can sell it at a pawn shop for yeah. a bunch of cash. So, but see, he's going to resolve the uh, Boba Fett special to deal one damage, get right. rid of the shield, and then roll back in the Maul Saber and hopefully hit some damage on that. And that's how that, you know, one turn kill happens when you get right. that Maul Saber out the first turn. Because the damage potential is huge with that die. But see, as I said, now he's having to split his damage up to try and... Um, get rid of those shields. Right. <clears throat> yeah, D Daniel's done a really good job of uh, managing uh, John's dice so far. Yes. I would have thought, especially after that double special roll, he oh would have been in trouble. Oh my goodness, it's a resource again. Oh my. That is. <laughs> that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I can't, I can't there believe it. There are four it. damage sides on yeah. that tie. Man, at this point, I really think it has something to do with the way, the way you roll. Really, I, I don't he's know. He's spinning it in the air and it's yeah. kind of landing, right? I think he should be like actually kind of tossing it to the yeah. side. I don't know that that would help, but because he's picking it you up and kind should, of throwing it. You should give him one of your dice trays. Right? Yeah. I should give him one of my dice trays if he could use it. So that was two damage, I think? Uh, no, just one. He used the Boba Fett special right, for okay. uh, one damage with yeah. his uh, melee showing. <clears throat> so one more, take a dollar. He's going to have lots of money. So he can play all the lightsabers he wants next round. I feel so bad. His damage output yeah. has been so low for the potential. So he overwrites, I guess, because he's worried about the night, the Seven Sister dying this Dying, turn. because he's within... Um, yeah like a rocket launcher right. kill yeah. or any any of the three damage kills so um he needs to get it on there before so that it can redeploy man it's crazy like fn fn's one of those uh characters like i've definitely seen a lot of the sort of the new hotness with every new set that comes out mm -hmm. I tend to see a lot of the old characters not get used again but fn seems like an evergreen card yeah yeah 
And like I said, because everything is slowed down a little bit, it's not the end of the world that um, he's not able to to overwrite that over and over and over again. Right. So cross guard lightsaber played. Landed on the modified, so he's not yeah. going to be able to get that resolve. Oh, John. So heirloom lightsaber this time rolls a, uh, a shield. Shield. But disrupt. blank, disrupt, and disrupt. That's just brutal. It's an Imperial HQ, I think. Yes. Right? Yeah. So he has a lot of pay sides, so that's a really yeah, good... Um, like rocket launchers and such. That's right. And even on FN's die, the two melee side is a pay side. I think I think you should roll out Boba Fett here. There's that two modifier side, so. Ooh, nice force illusion. Hmm. And he did not get a melee side. How, how many melee sides are on, or sorry, how many damage sides are on the seventh sister? Two. Well, there's two melee sides. Uh, yeah, two right. melee sides. There's a one melee and there's a, yeah. a two melee. And then the um, droid has a melee side. A melee side as well, for sure. <laughs> Disrupt, but I'm not sure. What? I'm not sure that's going to matter much yeah. right now because he has that Imperial HQ out. So two melee, one melee, a focus, and a shield. Nice. Yeah, that was a pretty decent reroll. And Seven Sister has three damage left on her, but with the Force Illusion, I guess, I guess you just deal it. Just, just, you just have to make him discard the Force Illusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he's got some weapons in his hand too yeah. so to be honest the, the discard right now might not hurt him that much it's more important that she stays alive because she has four dice on her I think he needs to activate Boba Fett. I don't know why. I mean, I know why he's waiting because he wants to get that redeploy if she does die. Right. But, you know, there's damage out there sitting. If he rolls those specials, he won't even be able to use it. And also, Boba Fett can threaten to kill FN too, right? If he Absol rolls well enough. Yeah. And I guess he's just going to continue to wait. You asked him how many cards he has in his hand. I can't see John's hand, so I'm not entirely sure what he might have in there to discard. John has three cards. See one event at least. He's gonna put a shield on the seventh sister. Mm -hmm. So even with the damage showing, he can't kill her right now. He doesn't have lethal. Without the even without the force solution. Yeah, good choice to get rid of the Force Illusion. So the, the Force Illusion, um, there's no priority when it comes to you have to get rid of shields before Force Illusion or anything like that. Uh, you you used to, to have to, but then yeah. they made a change to that. So because um, they're both before effects, you can choose either, um, either of them. <laughs> Man, John's been so indecisive with the <laughs> rolling out Boba Fett. <laughs> so funny. You might get the lightsaber yeah i understand that but i mean he had the potential out there to do a bunch of damage with boba fett before right. see see now like if you roll a bunch of well he didn't oh gross but if you if you roll a bunch of specials now like you know it's like almost like a trap for when daniel rolls out his fn yeah because you he might roll the three uh but now daniel will sign. roll out because yeah. obviously he sees there's no specials and so that's uh, that's actually a decent roll for Daniel. Yeah. I mean, he gets a blank, but he gets a two unblockable, which uh, I mean, with it would have helped. Anyway, with, it would have so. helped with the seventh sister earlier, but mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it looks like a bait and switch in his hand to feel your anger. Bait and switch, but uh, no resource sides, surprisingly, on John's side. 
Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, another thing to note that we're actually already two-thirds of the way into this match. So even if Daniel wins this next match, he's going to have to play a lot quicker if he wants to win uh, game number three. Mm -hmm. Of course, at that point, uh, if, it, if it were to go to time in the middle of game number three, you, you would resolve the tiebreakers just as you would during Swiss, right? Right, because they each have one, one win. I mean, they're in a very similar position right now. It's it's really close because, you know, Seven Sister has... Yeah, Seven more. Sister has three damage left on her, I think. And so this is... Uh, I am your father. Stop play. So resolve an opponent's character die as if it were your own unless that opponent discards all nice. cards from their that's, hand. That's actually pretty good. That's... Uh, So, he, wow, he, does he choose to take the damage, I guess? So he, oh, nice. He, he chose to resolve it against die. him, yeah. And it had to be character die, right? Which is why he didn't resolve the lightsaber. But that's fine because... Um, but if it's being resolved, it should be removed. No, it was. The FN die was removed. Oh, I thought, oh, he doesn't get to choose the die? No, he, so John chose a character the die. FN he chose die. the FN character oh, die, yeah. Sorry, he was pointing at the lightsaber. Right, right. <clears throat> Maybe he was saying, I wish it, I could do the oh, lightsaber. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, so focus to... Uh, a one. Yeah, one. I mean, he could do uh, he could do a two, right? Because he's got the HQ. He could, yeah. Yeah, discarding bait and switch as a reroll. And more money. Which is actually... Oh, he discarded the bait and switch, yeah. though. But that's enough to kill her. The seventh sister, yeah. Yeah. Put three into the seven sister and then two unblockable into Boba Fett. Yeah, there you go. So the heirloom lightsaber moves on. Um, actually, uh, it, we see we actually see uh, John in a similar situation to last round, where FN was teetering on the brink of death, but. Uh, you know, the Seven Sisters dead, mm -hmm. FN's still alive with a bunch of weapons, Night Sister's still at full health. He's probably John, gonna take a resource yeah. and then play that Ancient. So, Boba Fett is gonna be pretty well set up. Yep. But it seems like, uh, Daniel did claim the battlefield, so he he's did. gonna get the first action. Um, he might be able to play a, another redeploy weapon onto FN before he dies. I see a baton, actually, so that's probably going to be the play. He's going to perhaps overwrite his crossguard lightsaber. I think that would be the play for me. For sure, yeah, to keep the... Yeah, absolutely, yep. to keep the uh, redeploy. You wouldn't yeah, choose to override the redeploy at this point. <clears throat> yeah, every time I think John has an advantage, Daniel seems to to kind of, like, keep it together. Yeah, no, d he's doing really good. Oh. Oh, reroll still? Yeah. Oh, no. But, I mean, he couldn't resolve it what on the reroll, at least. What are the chances, yeah. So he might be able to finish him off here, but depending on what he rolls. So actually, that's a, that's a really good three, roll for four, once. five, six, yeah. six damage showing. That is, and that's a pretty big hunk against um, the Seven Sister. And I don't think Daniel has any sort of mass removal in his deck um, that can remove more than one die from, from John's pool. He no, used, and he's, he's used most of his yeah. removal, too. Both the doubts are gone. Mm -hmm. So that would be five against the seven sister. Oh, but it's one unblockable. He can't block it. Oh, it's uh, never mind. FN has 11. My apologies. Right, right. Mm. Well, I mean, what he could do, he'd have, have to, to use, use all, all his, his dice. melee. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, John, you just go for it. It's just the problem is then... Two of those weapons are going to move on to the seventh sister, mm -hmm. but you got to do it right. You can't make, you can't let FN roll out. Well, I mean, if he rolls out, it doesn't matter. He still has that option, right? Mm -hmm. To. Uh... Now it's hard to tell from this angle how many cards Daniel has in his deck. I think that was his second Force Illusion, so I don't think we're going to end up with this situation. No. Like last round or last game where. Uh, he lost because he had exactly one card in stack. Yes. 
Yeah, sometimes those um, those misplays, you don't really think about it. You know, you think, oh, I have the Force Illusion, then you play it and realize, well, I only have one right. card left in my deck. And he has so Imperial see, HQ yeah. as well. It's a lot of damage. So he remembers to reroll. Uh, Three, something's four, five, wrong six, with the uh, the batteries on the power baton because it hasn't been rolling any damage. No. In all fairness, it does have two blank sides, which is, uh, let's say, yeah. it was mo rolling more consistently blanks than John's uh, sabers were rolling yeah. resources. I, I, I mean, I'm not a statistician, but I, I remember hearing something about, like, it actually should be very rare that you roll double blanks twice in a row even if there are two sides yeah it has something to do with like additive um probabilities and stuff like that oh okay so it's one out of nine one out of nine times yeah right one out of nine times you would roll two blanks in a row yeah, yeah. one third time one third yeah and he did it twice in a row like oh when there it was that on special's FNN. nice yeah. well he's got to get rid of the melee so one out of 81 times he'll do it four times in a row how much right. damage is that three four five six damage mm -hmm. crazy He's gonna he have the. Um, he's gonna have to use the lightsaber, right? But you do that, and then you remove offensive power from your deck. He still has it out there, and there's nothing showing mm -hmm. lethal right now. I mean, he has the potential because he has, you know, he has no money, so he can't actually have lethal on right. uh, Boba Fett right now. So I would keep it out, try and reroll it, get some damage out of it before you heal. Especially with your uh, vibro knife sitting out there. I mean, if you hit that plus three side on it. Plus three on the Viber knife? Uh, no, Sorry. plus three on the uh, ancient. Right. So if you can hit, yeah. you know, because he has the, the the one melee on right. the Vibro right now. And then you have the Boba Fett ability, so that's, that's seven right. damage. That's right. Yeah, I would definitely try for the reroll. There's no point in, if, if he can't kill you at this point, yeah. and there's no FN shenanigans either. Oh my god, it rolled money again. <laughs> what oh, is happening? Wow. That's crazy. John's gonna ha should have that die framed. It's, I think. But this is a different one. Every saber he's rolled in has just been rolling. Oh, that, you're right. It's not. A, this that, is the ancient now. That was the ancient lightsaber. That blows my mind. Hmm. I think I think Daniel just should claim here. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, because if he re-rolls it, then he's risking getting a lot more damage um, on, yeah. his, on his character if he re-rolls something high. So John doing, like, man, it's, it's so funny how similar these uh, Game 1 and Game 2 is kind of playing out, because I think John was in almost the very, almost the exact same situation where he had an ancient lightsaber used and then played another ancient lightsaber from his hand. But that's exactly how that works, right? And especially yeah. when you're getting down to the bottom of your deck, right. if you can cycle that through. So... You know, despite the fact that you do want to roll more damage, he has rolled enough resources on those right. dice to make it possible for him to heal as many times as he has. So the, the end game is you just heal four damage a turn with your ancient lightsabers? or? Well, I mean, you have one out, yes. Yeah, so you're going to heal two. So yeah. unless you're generating enough resources, then you can really... Right. It, it's really just biding time if you're also not rolling damage at the same time. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. That three damage again oh. on the on the lightsaber. Wow. He needs uh, <laughs> Daniel to roll his uh, saber dice. Uh, uh, I think Daniel, yeah, Daniel should roll the baton. Oh my gosh. Uh, there you go. I think John, John needs to borrow. John needs to borrow uh, Daniel's lightsabers. No, he's just has to... <laughs> not been rolling anywhere close <laughs> yeah. to the damage output this game. Is that is that it? Is that game? That's if, game. Uh, I would just call it. it. Yeah, he has the HQ. Yeah. And then I would start a new game. Oh, here we I'm go. going to try. Yeah. Oh, he got nope. it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he must have made, made me late. So that is... It's only 10 damage yeah. showing. So, I mean, it did keep him alive. Well, the thing is, right, like, if he, even if he tries to roll something close to lethal, John still has the opportunity to use ancient to lightsaber. Yeah. So maybe you just pop off the damage, force John to use the lightsaber before he rolls it out, and that looks like what he—that lo looks like what he's going to do. It's just so risky with Boba Fett out there, um, leaving a, a three. Yeah, showing. for sure. Come 
Come on, Jan. John, <laughs> you can do this. No money, no money. Oh my god, it's still all money. Wow. Hey, at least the the, the heirloom lightsaber didn't roll money roll this time. Money. That's right. Oh, now this is risky, actually. He's going to give his opponent... Is that a two damage side there? Yeah, but I mean, there's just not enough lethal showing. Unless he can yeah. remove it. I don't know if he has any removal in his hand. But now what John should do is just... I think he should just use Boba Fett's ability. Oh, oh. nicely done. Interesting. He, uses the, he doesn't like you to get rid of the damage side. I think that's his last removal in his hand, though, so if... Uh well, yeah. what's, what's the maximum possible damage you know. can be dealt with this roll, though? Focus, One, so he can deal two, at most two damage. Two. So he can do it. Yeah, so he'll heal two. Good call. So now it puts him at seven. He would go to nine if Daniel focuses into a two damage side. And then, and, then, and then the Boba Fett um, yeah. will deal two. It's only three damage showing, but he has the potential of two, an another five if he rolls into it. So I wonder if he just just deals one damage to uh, I would. reduce the effectiveness yeah, of Boba Fett. Yeah, absolutely. Because then um, next turn he's going to claim and roll in first anyways. So yeah, don't give them any more firepower. Oh, oh, that's he did good. A, did he get a three? Looks like a two on the heirloom. I would just pitch one of his weapons. I mean, he's not going to get it out before he dies mm -hmm. anyways. <clears throat> well, still, that's what? That's uh, five, five damage. Five damage. So that actually puts Night Sister at seven. Puts her within striking oh, range. How did he get another one of those? Maybe maybe you, uh, we thought he played two and he didn't. I feel like there's been so many four solutions played this <laughs> match. Yeah, I've lost track. <laughs> Well, and he's got plenty of cards in his discard. I, this game is lost. He has 18 minutes left. I would honestly yeah. just claim. So he's here's a vandalize. vandalize oh. It. oh, nice. Nice Very play, John. Very nice. Amazing. Yeah, n now you uh, you throw five damage into Night Sister, and now it just becomes a game of, like, who can roll better, I guess. Yeah, basically... Daniel needs to just not roll any damage or, you know, one damage. Vibro Cutlass, though. That's good. That's, that is the best end game piece you could have hoped for, though. Now, it's not a lightsaber, and it doesn't have a resource side, so maybe this time it'll actually roll some damage with it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what, what John also is looking for here is maybe just removal. removal. Yeah, just remove as much as you can. <clears throat> And then just re-roll until you hit a three damage side or whatever. Yeah, he just has to go for it. There's nothing else. It just has to be a bad roll. Yeah, that baton is going to make it hard, though. So he does roll a resource Oh, baton. my God. He only rolled one damage. That's a John roll John right there. John has to wow. roll in. Oh, there's the three. Oh. So that, that kills Boba Fett, right? Because he's that sitting does. at eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless I do he see has a, a removal. I see a doubt. He has a doubt. He's got to use a doubt. Try. Yeah. You gotta. There you go. Aww. Oh, man, good game. That was a really good game. I feel so bad, bad for John. Like, his dice, he's just rolling. Yeah. See, look at him. <laughs> yeah, I look know. at them all money. I know. Wow. <laughs> what is happening? He, you know what he needs to do? He needs to do the... He needs to do the big game roll. You just pick it up in both hands. You drop it from like three or four feet oh, and just have them scatter all over. I can't yeah. believe the resources that guy is rolling. You know, d despite uh, despite both games, like despite John's terrible luck, he's he's made it really close. Yeah. You know that that game, like that game, could have gone either way too. Yes. It's really interesting. Yeah. So now this game, actually, the... Third game. Yeah, this, this third game, I think it's just going to come down to who can who can uh, prevent the most damage or apply the most damage, because it's I really feel like it's going to come down to tiebreakers for With the game way three. they've been playing, it's, they've been really slow games, so yeah. I, it, it's definitely going to come down to, uh, to a tiebreaker. And I think uh, 
I think going into a match, or sorry, a game that has 15 minutes left, I do think that Daniel's deck has the advantage simply because he has the opportunity to, to get a bunch of rolls out of his weapon dice multiple times with FN. Absolutely. Whereas John is just sort of like the more reactive deck, just sit back, remove stuff, and then... You know, even his Boba Fett is very reactive in the sense that his special relies on other dice having high values. I think that he needs to hope to get, you know, if we're going to time, that, um... Yeah. Are you done? You what? No, I want to just go for smoke. Oh, does that mean I get you for another round? Nice. <laughs> so we might have actually Alfredo. You know Alfredo, right? I do. I yeah. love Alfredo. Okay, He's awesome. Fantastic. I think you and Alfredo can uh, sit in. Yeah. No, I'm, um, or sorry, not Alfredo. I meant John Gobey is going to come onto the stream and talk. Oh, yeah. Isn't that right, John? Yeah. Are on camera? <laughs> okay. Why? Are you sick or something? You sound a lot different. It, I am sick. <laughs> you, you're sick with uh, the Latino <laughs> fever. <laughs> Yeah, four, 14 minutes. Uh, they're just going to go right into it. Uh, yep, wrong. Okay, that's the right guy to roll out. It's interesting that they're choosing Ewok Village over Rebel War Room. Rebel War Room, do you still have to pay the resource costs when you resolve it, when you claim it? What's the ability on Rebel War Room? It is... If it has a resource cost, you don't have to pay it. Okay. No, yeah, 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 you don't. Which is, which is helpful oh, yeah? for okay. him, but he hasn't really had a hard time, especially if he gets out an Imperial HQ. Yeah. And I think for him, um, at this point, because it's the last round and we're short on time, the shields will prevent an additional two damage. Right. So that's a much more important uh, thing to pick. I think I think Force Illusion is going to be the clutch card this game. For sure. You got to dig it, for the Force Illusions. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he got his Mall Saver. Ooh. That's tough. I think he has a force illusion and an heirloom. Yeah. The, the money maker. I think yeah. With this game, like, just just resolve your damage as quickly as possible. Oh, it's it doesn't oh, matter what it done. is. Ooh, what did what did you do? He vandalized the uh, oh, the viber knife. The viber knife. Nice. Man, vandalizes. It's good. Uh, so good, yeah. yeah. I feel like there's been other cards printed that have have had a very similar effect, like disarm and right. So I have disarm one. in my deck, yeah. um, mainly because vandalize feels less effective because I only have three character dice right. to play with. So most of the time, the four. things you're vandalizing though tend to be zero or one cost, right? They can be, yeah, absolutely. Like, like Force Illusions? Yeah, and then Disarm in my deck, though, because, you know, Sabine's going to roll a two or three damage side, then it's a little bit more right. effective. So okay. it gets a one, one, one melee. melee. Two resources and a yep. blank. Smart. Early Force Illusion. And uh, this time there was no economic disruption per se, but it uh, doesn't look like Daniel was able to... He does have two disrupts showing, okay. so if Daniel tries to yeah. gain what? resources to play a weapon... Do you, do you know what Daniel spent his money on? Uh, yeah, a Viber knife. Oh, and then it right, was right. Uh, okay. vandalized, yeah. Man. I'm checked out, apparently. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Although, John shouldn't have a resource, because he paid one for vandalize and right. one for force solution. Did he... Didn't he... There are no resources. Okay. I'll, I'll type You'll type? Okay. Two damage prevented, okay, yep. Yeah, it's the best choice, because if it's going to come down to damage done, the most mm -hmm. you can prevent. <laughs> yeah. 29 people watching, thank you so much for joining us this Saturday evening. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the top eight cut. I know this game has actually been... Uh, it's been pretty much the platonic ideal of, for Destiny, as I've had it described to me by, like, Lucas Litzinger. Mm -hmm. It's like action-reaction, action-reaction. Absolutely. Yeah. The beautiful volley that, uh, is, uh, that was supposed to be Destiny from the start. 
Okay, yeah, take the shield off. It's going to go after the Night Sister. So 10 minutes left on the clock. Uh, I think both players have one damage on their character. <coughs> A uh, bit of a stalemate, actually, after the first round. It's funny, like, you know, uh, Daniel had his thing vandalized, and what was that card he just played? Um, if you have no shields on your characters, where you get a resource? Oh, okay. Well that one. Right? Yeah. Oh, just, oh, never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, Spot a yellow character, okay. gain one resource, each opponent may draw a card. Oh, Shoto lightsaber is actually pretty good in a situation like this, but he's going to... Oh, he melded his whole hand Ooh. with a close quarter assault. Yeah, with the with the way John's luck has been going, that's the <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that, right? That's just basically a free turn for Daniel. Wow. Yeah. And two damage showing. FN ha hasn't even rolled out yet. No. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Wow. My God. So two two melee. I feel your yeah. anger right now would probably be very unpleasant. Well, he doesn't even need to feel your anger, right? Like, without any rerolls, he could just be no, like, okay, yeah, whatever. Right, of course, because he has no yeah. rerolls. I mean, when you're rolling five blanks and someone has to feel your anger, that yep. is one of the most devastating. Oh, and he rerolled into a two, but he has no money. Yeah. So he can pitch to reroll to hopefully get a, a resource side. No, he has... Li oh! Oh, I, for logistics, you need an actual resource side, right? Uh, no, FN actually had a, um, so he had a solid two melee. Right. Showing, and um, he has no money, so he can't, couldn't resolve the, the plus two on the right. vibro with it. No, I was thinking about logistics. You actually need a resource side showing you before you take the extra money, Absolutely. right? It's not like a rage or anything. No. Yeah. Actually, all, all things considered, that wasn't um, as bad as that uh, turn could have been. Speaking of money, mm -hmm. take more money. Yeah, I mean, actually, this time around, um, Daniel has a bunch. Yeah, Daniel has a bunch of money. I think I would just pitch and try to draw as many weapons as possible. Uh, see an ancient lightsaber. That's actually going to be huge in a situation like this. John starts out by rolling. Uh, yeah, two. So one, one melee, one melee, one shield, one disrupt. Ugh. The power of FN, yeah. Yeah, we might not even... Uh, Seven Sister might not even live to the end of this turn. I see uh, Feel Your Anger, which uh, I think John should definitely save some money for. He's got two copies of this, which is why he's pitching this one right here. And... That rolls a little bit better. One, yeah, it's, one more damage, yeah. So that's four total damage. Mm -hmm. That would put FN at six with the shield. Yeah, but Daniel hasn't rolled anything in yeah. yet. I mean, melee, resource, resource. So yeah, deal four. Uh, roll up Boba Fett at this point. Even a resource side will be good just because he has the bait and switch. Well, and there's no there's the huge yeah. shines on that rocket launcher. I mean, if, if he got those two spe specials on yeah. uh, Boba Fett and that rocket launcher comes out, I mean... Actually, I would have probably rolled out Boba Fett before resolving the melee damage. I would have too, damage. because now he can roll out FN and get rid of it before yep. Boba Fett can go out. Don't let him get ahead of you. Oh. Overwrite rocket launcher with rocket launcher? No, I don't think it's a rocket launcher. It looks like a, a Z baton. Oh. Well, he can't he can't one shot uh, Seven Sister because the three melee side has a resource, right? Yeah. Yeah. Case in point. Although he does have two uh, resources showing on his Seven Sister die, so. But see, now he has a three showing, and Boba Fett yeah. can roll out. Oh, he's gonna yeah. re-roll it. Yeah. Still a two, but he can get rid of it before Boba Fett does anything. So. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think John just waited a little too long to... Uh... Well, he could play I Am Your Father. Oh, he could, yeah, yeah. He does have but, two resources. Yeah, the, pro- the problem with that move, though, is, yeah, you get rid of that die, but then now you have no money. Your opponent... It needs to be a character die, right? Uh, yes, sorry, you're right. It is character die, so you can't actually get rid of the... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's what you were saying earlier. I wasn't familiar with the card. Right, because then he couldn't have used it on the lightsaber. Uh, 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 uh. So that is a dead knight sister. Heirloom's lightsaber moves over. I think that was the thing he was, was waiting, waiting for. for uh, checking to see if there's anything he wants to play onto Boba Fett first. Yep, Shoto seems decent. Get a shield. So there's there's five minutes now. Um, he's gonna have to kill FN to achieve any sort of parity. Like if the clock runs out now, Daniel just wins. But uh, he does manage to get. I hmm. mean, it is a mediocre roll, but at least he gets four damage. Mm -hmm. uh, ancient lightsaber. It's going to prevent him from. Uh, Ooh. You can still heal too. I yeah. mean, I mean, th I think that's the primary yeah. reason why you played it. So discard to reroll. Now it looks <laughs> like he can deal five damage total. If it wasn't for that ancient lightsaber, that would be a dead FN. And actually, I, I think you do it. Yeah, you do it now because, I mean, he doesn't know that John has bait and switch in his hand. Mm -hmm. But if he did anything other than heal the lightsaber, mm -hmm. John could just go bait and switch, turn the uh, Shoto lightsaber to a plus two melee side, kill FN. Mm -hmm. So actually, he's probably going to end still up. He's going to do it. Yeah, he's probably going to do it anyway. So he deals two damage, and, and FN's going to roll he can out. Do it. Yep. Yeah. That was actually not a bad turn to get yeah. that uh, resource. Uh, and there is, uh, and the baton is redeploy. However, uh, FN, sorry, Seven Sister is already exhausted, so he's not going to get that roll. So, yeah, bait and switch turns into a melee modifier, deals it. Boba Fett is also eleven damage, and yeah. she's already activated. That's crazy. Every time I think John is out of this game, he just pulls something like, like I know we were talking about his terrible rolls at the beginning of the, uh, at the beginning of, or the end of the last game. And the beginning of this game, but geez, three minutes left on the clock. Now it's Daniel that needs to make a move uh, in order to come out ahead. And the seven sister damage potential, um, while he is rolling four dice with the droid, it's just it's so much lower. Yeah. And he's got two ancients in his hand, so he's going to be at least able to heal yep. two. And at least two pieces of removal as well. Yeah. So I think actually you just I think you just roll out. Baba. No, he's going to go for the Viber extra Knife. Interesting. Damage. Yeah, extra damage. That I turns mean, he can still replace it, so he could still potentially yep. heal. And... Uh, nothing. Yeah, he has a melee, one melee yeah. side? Yeah. He really wants those specials before... Oh, he, that wasn't a great roll either, actually. Wow. That's a huge break for him, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, all the things. All the things, <laughs> John Chan. <laughs> uh, well, that's, uh, what, one, two, three? Four damage. Four damage. And at this point, I'm not sure if they, they know Any how much time they have left, but, yeah, you just want to... They are playing much faster, so I would... Yeah. Uh, I, I think that... Uh, they might. I mean, they're still going to play out the rest of the turn. That's so. true. Yeah, I, I keep I keep confusing Legend of the Five Rings with Destiny because mm. Legend of the Five Rings you finish as soon as you. So max damage he could output on that is uh, sister would have two, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He could eleven with a perfect roll. He could right. seven sister does have enough damage to kill. Oh no, Boba Fett has a shield on it. Yeah. So just a correction to John's list. I had. I had it with two vibro knucklers earlier, but it's actually two vibro knives. So oh. just if people saw yeah. it earlier, right. that was my mistake. He, he did it. Yep. submit the correct list. Oh, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think... Um, One damage. 
I think, think you need to pitch to re-roll. I mean, at this point, you just have to get as much damage as you can. So what is the, the maximum possible damage Daniel can do? Uh, so Daniel could do 10 with his dice. So three on the Ancient, yeah. three on the uh, Z-Baton, so that's six. Um, no, he could do 11. Right. And then two on each sister okay. plus a one. But he does, he does play, he doesn't like you. Now there's 30 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if they actually go into the next round before time runs out. Because if they do, then Daniel actually has a chance. But as it stands right now, I think John is going to be the only one that ends up winning. However, uh, actually, so Knight Seven Sister has seven damage on her. Sorry, seven health. Ancient yeah, I mean, this is eleven yeah. and this is ten. So yeah. Yeah, now it's over because now he can John heal two can heal. and he can heal one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let them go to the next. We'll let them go to the next round because we had a, a ruling. Oh yes, that's right. There's oh, okay. a time extension. Yeah, there's okay. a little bit of a time extension here. Okay. He replaced twice. You can't do that. All right, I will talk. <laughs> okay, never mind. He corrected it. We're good. So they will get one more round? Yeah. So time has been called, so this is the last round. We did give them um, a couple minutes extension because of um, some rulings. It's not the rule you want to see. That's not bad. Oh, oh no. Melee. No. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, that's still, you have to force a reroll, and then right. uh, Boba Fett can get out there before him now, which is... Uh, so, so this round is... This uh, last round is all about tanking damage, right? Mm -hmm. Just preventing as much damage as possible, at least on John's side. Oh, no. Uh, Too many. There's three damage showing. It's not enough. Because John can heal four, so he'd be right. back at full health. Oh, and he has a force illusion. Yes. Yeah. And then he, he just activates with the Shoto lightsaber, takes a uh, shield... First, he's going to play friends in low places, gets rid of the hidden motive. Daniel I think has it was his a only removal. Yeah, Daniel has a force illusion too, but but regardless, he yeah. can only heal two damage. Yep. So he's going to still be at um, less right. unless he can pump out enough damage. Yeah, the, the force illusion is not what Daniel should be playing. He can't. He needs to be the one that's dealing the damage this round. So I think he recognizes that, discards to reroll. An looks like two, so that's five damage two. right now. So let's see. John can heal, four. or heal or prevent two, three, four. Plus there's a force illusion. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. You just slap that down right now. Just overwrite your heirloom lightsaber. Now, uh, even though you can only overwrite once per turn, you can still pay full cost for something, you right? You can, absolutely. You can overwrite and pay full cost, right? Yes. Yeah, Force Solution, Daniel side. It's not really going to do anything for him. It'll prevent a little bit of damage, yeah, but, but he's got so many solid black dice yeah. um, and ways to do individual amounts of damage that I don't think it'll really matter. So I think John passed there. I think he recognizes that he just needs to heal a bunch of damage. So I'm not sure that was the right call. I think yeah. that, well, I mean, he just needs much more damage than that. He knows that John Chan can heal four. Right. But what John can do is just do some kind of combination of deal damage to Seven Sister and then heal. And then heal, absolutely. Yeah. So he's going to overwrite with a Ancient Lightsaber? Yeah. Between Ancient Lightsaber and Heirloom, which has more damage sides on it? They have the same amount of damage sides, okay. only Heirloom has uh, no modified sides. Ah. Yeah.
<laughs> nice. That's a big damage to her. Yeah, I think he's just going for the kill here, actually. And I mean, he can still then pay two cost outright right. to get that other ancient and heal if he needs to. So yeah, I think he's in a good position here. He can either get the damage or he can. Um, the, the only problem is that uh, Force Illusion that's going to uh, prevent the big, like, whatever the big damage from the Viber Cutlass is. So Which, he, honestly, it really doesn't matter because he can heal four. Yeah. Um, I think as long as he gets just even a little bit of damage on this. Right. After he heals four, they're even, right? Yeah. yeah. And he's got, yeah, he's got a lot of damage. So, was it two, three, four, five damage showing? I don't think there's anything he can... He can prevent uh, four of it and then take one. And then that would still put him at less health than, right. than John. Although John didn't remember to take a shield for his... Uh, not that it would have mattered, but it, it could have for mattered. For his Shoto lightsaber, if, right? If, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if he re-rolled that sister for more damage or something, it could have mattered. Because it's 11 against 10, so if he heals four, he'll have two damage. And then that's what... Yeah, they'd be even. That's right. So that remains is for John to see this play. He just needs to re-roll to get the any damage on Boba Fett. Looks like yeah. that's what he's doing. Absolutely. Yeah. If he gets anything on these, then he's won. Right. And he has a potential of three sides on each die to get one damage side. There it is. Oh wow. Yeah. Crazy. That doesn't that doesn't kill the sister, but uh, that is probably going it's to be It's not going to kill her, but it'll yeah. be enough damage. Ooh. Yep, one at a time. So uh, Daniel's going to make him walk through the steps. Mm -hmm. It is important. Sequencing is important in this game. All he has to do is count, and he knows that he yeah. has enough. I mean, he really only needed to do one extra damage, and Daniel just allowed right. him to get that extra damage. Yep. So yeah, you're going to take two. And I think maybe Daniel just, because he doesn't know that John has the ancient lightsaber in his hand. Yeah. How come what? I don't think he needed the extra damage with two, the two showing. Yeah. No, he, that's what I'm saying. He let him take the one damage. Right. That's all he needed was one more damage. Yeah. And he, like, he can heal four, so that's it. Yeah. So that's game. Yeah, congratulations to John. John Chan won by... Wow. That was a... That was a cycling <laughs> ancient sabers. <laughs> that was... That was one of the grindiest non-mill matchups I've ever Absolutely. seen. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And uh, one character, I mean, one, Daniel almost got milled that one game. So.